watched a little bit of Jessica X's live. Somebody told me to watch the live, okay? And honestly, I don't know, to me, I'm like, you know, there's a big thing here. I have said before, black women don't go on Jessica X's live, but there's more to it, to me and my perspective, about people who go on Jessica X's live, okay? I mean, like, if you're going on to ask someone a question or whatever, that's one thing. Or if you have been asked to come on to someone's live to talk about colorism, that's another thing. Because you know, and I know, and everything that, you know, I've gone and talked to Jessica X before, um, on her lives before. Not her lives, actually, there's someone else's lives on colorism. And then one time to ask her a question. Um, but, I mean, that's kind of different because I was just trying to figure out who to side with. She kind of made that decision for me. But anyway, um, as far as, like, people on Jessica X's live, it's like, I feel like most of the time, People on Jessica X's live, if they're going for personal reasons and not for a specific topic, that there's a personal problem. The reason I think that there's a personal problem is because generally the issues they have with her channel is associated more with the Kevin Samuels type. I always think the only people who have an issue with Kevin Samuels are the type of people who are insecure with themselves. They agree with him on some level and that's why they're mad because they feel like it's true. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on his channel. You wouldn't care what he has to say. Um, on her channel, I mean. Same thing to me. It's just like when women, black women are on Jessica X's live. And yes, that's a black woman, by the way. I mean, broad nose, full lip, tight cheekbones, that's a black person. Um, to me, I'm like, well, obviously, they'll have some problems, personally. And to me, I mean, like, from what I was hearing people say about, you know, people who don't have their kids, you know, usually a woman who doesn't have their child is a very messed up woman because, like, Usually, the state gives the children to the mother, you know, the father usually prefers and feels safe with their child being with their mother. If all that is not the case, you gotta look at that woman like, what is wrong with her? I mean, if it's not the father, if it's not the court, if it's the woman who chooses just to be without her kids, then I would think that there's probably something wrong with her still because she doesn't want to be with her children, you know. Um, and I mean, like, if you don't have a connection with your child after, you know, being pregnant for nine months, you know, and giving birth to your baby, and you want somebody else to take care of your kid, and, or you're not safe for your kid, um, yeah, you can tell that something's wrong with that person, obviously, you know, and they probably know something's wrong with them. That's why they've amounted to not even being able to take care of their kids. They've amounted to, you know, also, I mean, I guess you could tell with this person that men matter to them. Like, personally for me, men don't matter to me, but I think I'm a little young. And uh, maybe I maybe I'm a little too young, honestly, when it comes to men, because I'm like of the mindset where I don't 
care about men that much, but at the same time, I know eventually I'll probably want another, like, your other half kind of like thing. Like, it always seems so nice, you know, to think of like having a partnership and like being one with someone, but it's always like you need to have the right one. That's why to me it's like all the things people focus on, like, uh, Talking about people being dusty or um, money and things of that nature to me is like things I don't find. I find them so superficial personally because it's like, okay, so you don't care about the person. You don't care about loving that person. You know, you don't love. Or maybe you don't have love in you. Maybe you don't have that need in you. Maybe something in you just doesn't need that. And, you know, it kind of like, to me, shows there might be maybe some kind of default, or maybe it's just a romanticism. I don't know. I'm very open and accepting towards people who are, you know, different sexualities. But, my point in this was, you know, To me, I just think, like, in this case, obviously this person does want, you know, some kind of relationship and stuff with men, and is needy of men's attention, because they always talk about men. Um, and you can tell on there, she, um, is of the type that just, you know, looks for, but it's more so... angry at men because of the fact that she doesn't get that attention from men. So, I mean, you know, I guess that's the difference, you know. For me, from my perspective, and this is what I hate, kind of, is the association of the happy, independent woman with Women who are just lonely and rejected and not accepted and therefore single and trying to be independent because they have no choice. To me, it's annoying because the both of us, we kind of, people think we're similar. When someone could actually really be actually just trying to live their youth, out and actually be carefree before they have to care about having a significant other and a whole family and things of that nature. You know, people get to that point in their lives at different points. To me, I think some people get to that point at about 30 or over 30 or things of that nature. I actually looked at a study and they were saying how, you know, the first how quickly the first birth comes for men and women at 30 years of age. Usually, that's about the time when people start to have children. So, to me, I mean, like, I don't know. It's kind of like people mature at different ages. Other people get to the point where they, you know, want that, but they just can't have that. You know, and so then that's where they get all that anger. And that's what I was saying with other people like Cynthia G and um, that person for that matter. To me, it's like, you know, people also who follow that type of mindset always come from a certain storyline. And also on top of that, I was just talking about um, people who have abortions and, you know, they are, you know, bad mothers because of it. Um, that specific person, if you look at their history and what they've said, they actually have had abortions. Probably abortions. I believe they were talking about one abortion, but they probably had more. Usually people aren't willing to admit that they've had several when they've had one. I mean, one is bad enough, so. Either way. Anyway, um, so, I mean, 
there's that whole situation with that person. Um, as far as being a mother, I think they've obviously failed as a mother. And of course they would fail, like I said in my other video with Cynthia G and her termination. When people are of the mindset and ability to destroy their own children, of course, the children they have, they're not going to be good mothers to. Of course, the fathers that have children with them won't trust them with their children. Of course, the state would not trust them with their children. If they can kill their children in the womb, what can they do to them outside of the womb? So, I mean, as far as being a bad partner, I think it's more important that there are girls out there that have a mother that is completely dysfunctional and unable to of taking care of them. And I mean, even if they have a father that can take care of them, it's still not the best lifestyle for them because they don't have a female role model. I mean, every girl needs a mother, of course, you know. So, that's a sad situation all in all. I feel sorry for those kids, being completely honest. Um, I, like I said, I wanted to do a video kind of on, um, other people involved in this situation, it's the Jessica X Live, um, but I will close in saying that, you know, many of the time the women on Jessica X's channel, if they go on, they're usually people who are insecure and looking for some kind of validation, one. They're women who have some kind of anger issue, and, you know, they are basically trying to, you know, Basically, they're basically trying to, I'm trying to think of it, like, basically, so, they have all the anger inside of them from all the rejection, right? So now they're trying to spread it out and bring it upon all the black men that are basically a representation of all the issues they've had in the past with their bad relationships. So, that's all I have to say on that. Um, a lot of black women that call her show, they're just messed up, at least in that case, definitely messed up. Um, I hope she gets some therapy, because she does seem like she's hurting, so let's pray for her. Thanks for watching, bye.